Hi everybody. Uh, just a quick note, quick update. Uh, we've got a midterm that's on the blocks right now. I have asked, and it looks like I can maybe accept midterms being done as late as next Tuesday. Next Tuesday being November, I don't know, is that the 16th? Okay, anyway, it's a little awkward for me, but uh, if you need a little extra time, you can write it as late as next Tuesday. Concept there being you need a, an invigilator just to watch you and make sure that, uh, you know, you're not cheating. And it's not for you, it's for all those other kids that are, might be cheating out there. Um, so, uh, progress, uh, we're actually progressing through the course really pretty well. Now, I know that that web work assignment three didn't sit very well. There were some uh, questions that require, they had fussy entry types where you might have had to type A, B, C, D and there was no indication how that did. So please accept my apologies for that. We'll try and make sure that next time that doesn't happen. Um, so uh, most of you are kind of at the stage where you'll be doing a rational and radical all at once. Now that is not a hard concept. It's really, there's a single big idea there. Sorry, there are two big ideas. First of all, that rash fractional exponents can be dealt with using the power law. And so things like x to the exponent 3 quarters can be, uh, you can do the power law on that just as easy as you can x squared or x cubed or 5x to the fifth. So fractional exponents can be dealt with using the power law. Radical notation, so stuff like the cube root of x, you know, with the, with the little uh, square root sign, that can be converted to exponential notation. And that makes it a lot easier to deal with. So there are sort of two parts to that exercise dealing with that. The last thing, a lot of people get mixed up between the fractional uh, form of an exponent and the negative. So if you have a negative exponent and you want to get rid of the negative, that just means a 1 over whatever it is. So for example, x to the exponent negative 5 could be rewritten as 1 over x to the fifth. That's different from having an exponent that is a fraction. So x to the exponent 1 fifth means the fifth root of x, whereas x to the exponent negative 5 means 1 over x to the power of 5. Anyways, those are the big ideas. Uh, please let me know where you're at with midterm so I know uh, how to gauge that. Thanks, everybody.